Egg it on, Arthur. Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. It's my life. <laughs> oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. Well, that's good of you. Come on, mister. Take the load off. The fire's real warm. Mm. <laughs> Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might, I might tell you. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. Slow way. Well, they pay well. Them government boys. 
But the money don't last long. Uh -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the last minute feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. You! Stop! I ain't no fool! I'm gone! She's laying a good trail. I thought I saw you over there.
Damn it!